Forget Hollywood monsters. The real story of werewolves is wilder, older, and far more disturbing than you could imagine. We're talking about creatures that have stalked our folklore for millennia, leaving their mark on every corner of the globe. Today, we're tracing the werewolf's paw prints back to the very beginning. And trust me, you've never heard it like this before. You'll see the werewolf legend like never before. Its shocking connections to real history, the psychology behind our fears, and the chilling possibility that maybe, just maybe, there's more to these monsters than meets the eye. Ancient roots where the legend began. For millennia, humans have gazed up at the same moon, sharing stories around flickering fires. And some stories, some stories seem to echo through time, appearing in cultures across the globe. Stories of transformation. The werewolf. The shapeshifter. The beast within. It's a concept that's haunted us since the dawn of civilization. But why? What sparked this primal fear, this morbid fascination, with humans turning into wolves? Our journey starts thousands of years ago. In ancient Greece, we meet King Lycon, a proud ruler who made the fatal mistake of testing Zeus's power. Legend says he served the king of the gods a gruesome meal. Care to guess the main course? Let's just say Zeus wasn't too pleased. As punishment, Lycon was cursed, transformed into a bloodthirsty wolf, forever reflecting the monstrous act he had committed. Chilling, right? But the Greeks weren't alone. Across the icy seas, the Vikings spun tales of fearsome warriors called Ulf Hebnar, literally meaning wolf-coated. These berserkers were said to wear the pelts of wolves channeling the animal's ferocity in battle, becoming consumed by a primal rage that defied human limits. Sound familiar? But the roots of the werewolf myth might go even deeper, intertwining with early humanity's relationship with nature itself. Across cultures from the Americas to Africa to Australia, shamans and spirit walkers claimed the ability to commune with animal spirits, even taking on their forms. Was this the birth of the werewolf legend? Did ancient people witness something real? Rituals, hallucinations, maybe even encounters with creatures unknown, that sparked these enduring tales? We're just scratching the surface here. Next, we're going beyond myth and digging into the history books, because the werewolf legend is about to get a whole lot more real. Stay with me. The Dark Ages. Werewolves and witchcraft. Okay, buckle up, because things are about to get dark. Literally. We're talking about the Dark Ages, a time when plague ravaged Europe, superstition reigned supreme, and the line between man and monster blurred like never before. Imagine a world shrouded in perpetual fear. The Black Death is wiping out entire villages. People are desperate for explanations, for someone or something to blame. And into that darkness, steps the werewolf. Now, werewolves had always been lurking in the shadows of mythology, but in the Dark Ages, they became inextricably linked to something even more terrifying. Witchcraft. The church declared werewolves to be servants of the devil, capable of possessing souls and spreading evil throughout the land. Can you imagine the fear that must have gripped people's hearts? And this fear wasn't just theoretical. Oh no, it led to very real, very tragic consequences. In the 16th and 17th centuries, Europe was gripped by a wave of werewolf trials. Just like the Salem witch trials, but with more fur and fangs, I guess. One of the most infamous cases involved a man named Peter Stubb in Germany. Accused of being a bloodthirsty werewolf who terrorized his village, he confessed to unspeakable crimes under torture. But was Stubb truly a monster, or just a mentally ill man caught in the grip of religious fervor and mass hysteria? It's a question that still haunts historians today. And then, there's the chilling tale of the Beast of Gévaudan in 18th century France. This wasn't some mythical creature whispered about in hushed tones. This was a real predator, a massive wolf-like beast that terrorized the French countryside for years. Hundreds of people claimed to have seen it, hundreds more fell victim to its ferocity. Was it a giant wolf, a pack of wolves acting in unison? Or something far more sinister, something that defied explanation? We'll delve into that mystery a bit later in the video. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. History Bites Back, Real World Influences Buckle up folks because we're about to leave the world of myths and legends and enter the history books. Because the werewolf, that creature of myth and moonlight, has a surprisingly dark and bloody chapter in human history. The Middle Ages. A time of plague, famine, and... werewolves? Well, not quite, 
But something strange was happening in the shadows of those ancient forests. Something that would solidify the werewolf's place in our darkest nightmares. We're talking about the 16th and 17th centuries, a period in Europe that saw a surprising surge in werewolf trials. And these weren't just campfire stories. Real people, accused of lycanthropy, the transformation into wolves, faced judges, juries, and often, a gruesome end. One infamous case involves the Frenchman, Gilles Garnier. In 1573, this self-proclaimed werewolf confessed to murdering and cannibalizing multiple children. Was he truly cursed? driven mad, or just a convenient scapegoat for a community gripped by fear. The lines between monster and man were blurring. And then there's the chilling tale of the Beast of Gévaudan. For three years from 1764 to 1767, something stalked the French countryside, tearing apart hundreds of people with terrifying ferocity. Eyewitness accounts described a creature like no other, a monstrous wolf larger than any seen before, with reddish fur and an unquenchable thirst for blood. Was it a wolf? A werewolf? A case of mass hysteria? The mystery still haunts us today. These stories and countless others paint a vivid picture of the medieval mindset. People were surrounded by the untamed wilderness, plagued by diseases they didn't understand. Take rabies, for example. This horrifying disease, transmitted by animal bites, can cause aggression, hallucinations, and even paralysis of the jaw muscles, leading to a frothing at the mouth. Sound familiar? Now, I'm not saying rabies explains away the werewolf myth, but it does offer a glimpse into how real-world horrors might have fueled those supernatural beliefs. In a world where darkness lurked around every corner, the line between man and monster, well, it could get pretty blurry. But the story of the werewolf doesn't end there. Stick around, because we're about to dive into the modern age, where science, psychology, and maybe even a bit of the unexplained collide with this enduring legend. Beyond the bite, modern theories and interpretations. Okay, we've explored ancient myths and delved into the dark history of werewolf lore. But what about today? Has science finally caught up with the supernatural? Are we any closer to unlocking the secrets of the werewolf? Well, let's just say the truth might be stranger than fiction. While full-blown shape-shifting might remain in the realm of fantasy for now, there are some fascinating medical conditions that might have contributed to werewolf beliefs throughout history. Take hypertrichosis, for example. This rare genetic disorder causes excessive hair growth all over the body. Imagine seeing someone covered head to toe in hair, especially in a time before modern medicine. It's not hard to see how those rumors started, right? Then there's clinical lycanthropy, a rare psychiatric condition where individuals genuinely believe they are turning into an animal, often a wolf. They might experience delusions, hallucinations, even changes in behavior. It's a stark reminder that sometimes the scariest monsters are the ones within our own minds. But what about those who claim to have seen real werewolves? Out there in the shadows beyond the reach of science, that's where cryptozoology comes in, the study of hidden animals. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and yes, even our friend, the werewolf. Cryptozoologists investigate eyewitness accounts, collect potential evidence, and explore the possibility that maybe, just maybe, some legends refuse to die. And let's not forget the power of storytelling. From ancient epics to modern horror films, werewolves have captivated our imaginations for centuries. They tap into our primal fears, the fear of the unknown, the loss of control, the beast lurking within us all. But they also explore complex themes, duality, transformation, the struggle between our human and animal natures. So where does that leave us? Do werewolves truly exist? The answer, my friends, is up to you. What do you believe? We've just scratched the surface of werewolf lore. What other creatures of the night should we investigate? Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Your idea might just become our next video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on our future adventures into the unexplained.